Welcome and thanks for tuning in today where I'm going to be talking about five dislikes I have about the Lancalesi RV800 Plus but I've also got five areas I'm really impressed with so I'm going to find somewhere a bit more suitable to pull over and tell you some more first of all then let me start off with I've nearly got 400 miles on this bike now so I spent a bit of time on it and the five dislikes I have do not take anything away from the bike itself and the price they're just areas I feel could be improved with minimal effort but yeah I'll tell you more in a few minutes when I find somewhere appropriate to stop because I don't think it's got very good lighting in this area first of all it's the throttle you have to turn it nearly an inch before it will engage now on other bikes that's not been the case so I know that's easy enough to sort out it's just a bit of programming number two is the LCD display it, it looks quite clear when you're in the garage or in dark light but when you're out in the open it's really difficult to see what whether you're in trip average speed etc because you just can't see the blue writing you can see the white all right but you can't tell exactly what mode you're in or what you're looking at you know mileage or trip thought I had someone behind me then yeah so I just think they need to go back to the LCD display and have a little think about that number three is the brake pads they are poor very poor they wore out within 250 miles the front one went first started and now I've replaced the rear as well but I, I've had that before on bikes that have come from China the brake pads wear out quickly they don't bite as well I know it's only a little thing but to me just having brake pads that wear out within within 300 miles is um, not really acceptable number four then is the forks yeah they're not very good really all show no go you can hardly you can't change anything you try altering it, it, it there's a a little bit of a a difference when you turn a few of the knobs the preload doesn't seem to do anything again just all show um but i don't expect too much however they do not complement the rest of the bike now number five is well to be honest I couldn't decide between the seat and the grips I really dislike these grips and the half twist throttle it just doesn't sit right with me it's very awkward and I realize my hands feel funny after I'm trying to just twist half of it and the seat the seat for me is just too soft too soft I'm feeling it now especially as a week or two ago I went out on it two consecutive days and I did roughly 20 miles each day and on the third day after those rides I just felt a little bit sore and I thought I don't ever get this it must be that seat it must be and it's been uh, playing on my thoughts for a while but that just confirmed it and I would say if you cycle regular then this seat probably won't suit you but if you only get on the bike once or twice a month in dry weather so summertime riding then that seat will probably serve you really well like I said I couldn't work out which one bugs me the most so I just combined them you could say that's six and I possibly would agree <laughs> never mind moving on to the likes and what I really think 
set this bike off and complement it. Number one is the tyres, the fat tyres. Just riding across rough terrain and down the tracks, it's just so comfortable. It rides like a dream and the stability of it is amazing. I really think it is. Number two is the Bafang rear hub motor. It's just a well-known branded make and they are very popular and known for being durable and reliable. Number three is the hydraulic brakes. I'm mildly surprised by them but a lot of the bikes under the two grand bracket if you look closely 50% of them actually don't have hydraulic brakes they're cable and when you get used to using proper hydraulic brakes you just can't go back to cable so that's another bonus number four has got to be the battery Samsung cells 48 volt 20 amp hour branded cells well just quality products you're less likely to get any problems again it should be reliable and durable number four is the headlight it's handy just having a fixed light on the bike you know you're never going to be without a light it's very bright it's more than adequate for the job and I'm just really impressed by it the only downside is I, I would have thought they'd have a rear light but they haven't well I didn't get one all then combined then I just think that makes this bike a very worthy product let me know if you've got any ideas or if I missed something do you disagree with something let me know in the comments below and I'm going to head out of here now carry on with my e-bike ride as always i'm going to thank you especially as you got this far hope you enjoyed this upload and thanks for tuning into the motor machines channel today